Okay, this is a test of my stoves. Um, I have here is a hoop stove. I uh, just pour fuel in. I'm using 10 milliliters uh, in all three. Uh, this is my latest stove over here. This is only the second burn test I've done on it. Uh, so this is actually a uh, platinum aluminum beer bottle, uh, Budweiser. Uh, and also this one here uh, is my first uh, jet alcohol stove. Uh, these are actually both jet alcohol stoves, so they require uh, like a chimney. Um, they require um, oxygen from below, so they have a primer pan underneath that will actually uh, light and then I'll push it out of the way once the flame gets going. So um, here's uh, first test. So once the uh, hoop stove heats up, you know, it should have a nice spiral flame. I believe there's nine jets. The other ones are already lit. Looks like uh, I can hear the fuel already starting to boil. I'm using fondue fuel, by the way, because uh, it's readily available. There we go. Let's get the primer pan out there. So he lit fairly quickly. This is a bigger stove. It takes a lot longer to heat up. As you can see, the hoop stove came up really fast. Uh, it's very efficient. I've boiled water with that for in about three minutes. Uh, with my little trusty kettle. Um, so, eh, the little, the new hoop stove, or rather um, chimney jet stove, is uh, coming along quite nicely there. Uh, here goes the other one. So, I'm just going to move the primer out of the way and see if he'll light. Oh, he, I don't think he's going to light yet. I don't think he's hot enough. Yeah, we'll let him go there. Okay, he's lit now. For certain. There we go. So we'll just let him light. So efficiency on the uh, chimney jet alcohol stoves, I haven't really played much with the efficiency of them. Um, as you can see by the flame on the hoop stove, um, it's quite good um, and it boiled water um, back in the country with me. Uh, probably about three, three minutes, maybe a little more, not by much, but uh, no more so than any other type of stove I guess like a propane stove or something and these are just like made from pop cans and aluminum beer bottles and such so they're pretty easy to get and uh, they're uh, a certain way to do it I got the ideas from uh, YouTube so anyone can do it just uh, do a search for chimney jet alcohol stoves or uh, you know just alcohol stoves in general and you'll see hundreds maybe thousands of videos on it as you can see the big stove um, to the right uh, with the copper base um, that stove um, has a beautiful jet flame I'm going to show you the flame from above because the jets are cut on an angle so I'm just going to raise you up here and show you what the flame looks like from above so in fact if you look closely it looks like a spiral flame and same with the new guy and not as quite as pronounced as you can see but the big guy, which has a wider opening, you can really see the spiral. Anyhow, that's uh, my stoves. So basically, I'm uh, just seeing how long it takes to burn off exactly 10 milliliters of alcohol in all three. Um, basically fondue fuel, which is, I believe, about 96 or 97 percent alcohol. This is fondue fuel. So, it's uh, called Blue Flame Fondue Fuel, ideal for chafing dishes. Uh, no smoke, no unpleasant odor, and burns very clean. So, this is a 500 ml bottle. You can get it at any grocery store for fondue. Works quite well in these stoves because it's, uh, it doesn't, I've never had a stove explode on me, and I have quite a few stoves built, uh, different types. These are the most efficient ones, though, I think. I'm really impressed with the hoop stove. The design of it is really neat. Um, after I post this video, I'll probably do a video of how it's put together and uh, put it up. But uh, basically, I just learned it from another guy, uh, Ted Koba, on uh, 
YouTube. I've joined his channel. He's pretty amazing. He's, uh, I believe he's Japanese or Chinese. I'm not really sure. Um, but um, he is precision, precision, precision. He's very good. Um, so it was very interesting watching his videos and uh, I learned a lot from him uh, and some other of his followers and some other stove makers out there and there's all kinds of them. So check it out. See if you like it. You know, these aren't for sale so don't ask to buy them. Uh, it's just a small hobby, one of many. I take these fly fishing with me because they're very lightweight. I can throw them in my backpack and fondue fuel and a lighter and off I go. I can boil water anywhere and I usually have a little kettle with me. This is my little Primus kettle as you can see. Works quite well for small tea. Ha! Ah, there's the hoop stove is burned out. So as you can tell the hoop stove is not as uh, efficient at burning because of its open type mouth. With the uh, oh, jet alcohol stove um, the fuel is contained within the chamber between the two bottles so if you look closely you can see that this is basically an um, aluminum bottle with the bottom cut out uh, and the neck inverted inside of it. So um, it takes a little bit to get used to do it. Uh, use JB Weld is recommended. Uh, it's a mix of epoxy, good for uh, aluminum metals and stuff uh, and it glues it together pretty good. So. So these stoves burn quite a long time, um, which means you can probably boil a kettle, fry an egg, uh, maybe cook some wild meat or anything really, I guess. Bake beans if you want, beans and eggs, or, you know, even toast, I guess. Yeah, probably. I can't see why not. It's easier and simpler than trying to make a fire, and... Uh, a little more safe, uh, at least it's controlled, whereas a fire is not. Um, I don't like lighting fires, I never did. Uh, so I, I prefer this method because it's clean and it doesn't leave no mess where I'm going. I could just set up on a rock or a stump or something like that. So that's the end of the 10 milliliters. It looks like both of these stoves have about the same efficiency. They both burned out at exactly the same time. Very good. So I'm impressed. Um, they came out really good. Um, I really like them. Uh, I ended up uh, doing a couple of other stoves. This one here um, is an idea I've had uh, with my kettle, which is a homemade stand I have. Um, this stand holds my kettle perfectly. And it's an adjustable stove, so I can actually lower or raise the stove inside the uh, brackets and the kettle fits nicely on the little brackets I have made which keeps it from being tipped over. It's very stable that's the one thing I really liked about it. Um, this is my next one to take into the woods but unfortunately the stove I have in it is not very efficient so uh, I need to build one that's going to fit in it which I'm hoping that the new guy here is going to work for me. It might be a bit hot. Yeah, a little warm. I don't think I'll pick him up. Anyway, that's uh, that's my stoves. Um, hope you like that. I got some more over here that I've been kind of tampering with. This is my hoop stove, which I can pick up quite easily. It, it actually cools off very quickly. That's where my hoop stove fits, and basically I can pick it up and move it around at the campsite, kind of thing. Right. So uh, something I designed looks like a fire. Just it's all aluminum. It's put together with a couple of hinges so I can just fold it down flat in the bottom of my backpack or in the back of my ATV. Uh, so there's a couple other things and another stove that I made there with the built-in pot support. Uh, again, that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy camping.